Hello everyone, welcome to this video in which we are going to see that what steps you can follow in case your mouse cursor is not working. So you must be thinking what uh, should I do if my mouse cursor is not working. So the steps are actually pretty simple. All you need to do is uninstall your mo uh, mouse drivers and reinstall them. So we are going to see the exact steps. So since your mouse is not working that's why you have clicked on this particular video so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make sure that i'm just using the keyboard keys in this particular tutorial so that you can follow the same steps without any hassle okay so the first step is press windows r from your keyboard and then type in devmgmt dot msc now i'm bringing it up on the middle of the screen using my mouse but that's just to show you that what command you need to type that is devmgmt.msc then press enter from your keyboard this will open up a device manager then press the tab key from your keyboard and using the down arrow keys make sure you go to mice and other pointing devices then press the right arrow key this will bring up these two drivers like the Dell touchpad and HID compliant mouse. So you need to go to the second driver that says HID compliant mouse, press enter. Here, make sure you press the tab key until and unless the focus is on the general tab. Once it is, just press the, okay. So now the focus is on the general tab. Just press the right arrow key to go to driver. Here, using the tab keys, go to uninstall device, press enter. And this will uninstall the device from your system. Okay, so I'm not going to do this because uh, I don't have the drivers available right now. But in case your mouse is not working, then those drivers would be available onto your PC. Okay, then click on OK. Next, what you need to do is just to press the Alt key in the device manager. This will take you to the file. Using the right arrow key, go to the action, press enter. And using the down arrow key go to this particular option the first option that says scan for hardware changes press enter so this will scan for hardware changes it will actually install the mouse driver which was missing in your case onto your uh, pc and then you will be able to use your mouse again so once that's done you can close your device manager using this close button and that's it for this video thanks for watching